Okay boys, welcome back to another video. If we could drop a, let's say 10 likes on this video, that would be awesome. Uh, I appreciate that massively, it goes a long way. If you could subscribe as well, that would be much appreciated as well. So we're going to be talking about the RTTF, so the Road to the Final uh, cards, and who to invest in, who not, who looks good, who doesn't. Uh, and the best way to do this is to look at the Champions League table. So we have Kante, right? Kante 90. If they go and win the final, 96 rated. If they get into the final, 95 rated, right? Um, that card will be one of the best cards on the game by far. That will be, if Chelsea went and do that, uh, go and do that, that is mental. So what you want to be looking at is where they are in their fit. So Chelsea here, right? It's not the best card to invest in. It's not. They've got two more games left. Um, two more games, right? They got Valencia, Ajax. They're all playing well. A uh, little don't know what's going on with that, but they can't. I mean, they can't because not these three can lose and then Lille win the next two games. So if Chelsea, let's say if I don't know who Chelsea and that are playing next, right? But let's say if Chelsea and Ajax win and Valencia lose, no, they need to. So if we go down to their league, and then we go to Ajax, uh, Group H, Ajax, Chelsea, Valencia, Lille, right? It's not the best one to invest in. You need to base it next if Chelsea win their next one, and Ajax and Valencia lose. I'm not sure who's playing who, so you might have to go in and look for this yourself, because I'm not, I'm not sure. But this is a very tight group, so Kante isn't the best one to invest in at the moment. It's a very good card. So look at his card. He's, yeah, one one mil, right? I mean, it's a fantastic card anyway. Three hundred fifty k for this. His stats ain't massively better um, at all, but you got to base him off if Chelsea win their next game. If Chelsea draw, I'm not, and then Valencia win, for instance, oh, not Valencia, uh, Ajax win, for instance, then it can be looking dodgy. Um, it depends who they've got there. I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure who um who's playing who. So let's go down, let's go back on here and let's look at where are we? Dubai and I'm pretty sure Juventus. Yeah, I mean Juventus are guaranteed free, right? Yeah, Juventus are guaranteed free because even if Moscow win the next two, they're not gonna hit ten points. So Juventus are automatically through. Which where have they got? They've got Atletico Madrid next, it says. So they're playing Atletico Madrid. So even if that game's a draw, Juventus, well, Juventus are through either way. So uh, Dybala is a great investment because he's definitely 100% going to a 90 rated. So what's his price going to be at 90 rated? Now, I think, I think people know this already, and I think that his price is going to stay like that. But he's at a PAX Friday as well. Um, and when do... Let's have a look when Juventus play them. They play them um, the 26th of the tear, the 11th, right? So that's in a few weeks. So here be went out of packs then. So this is probably a great card to pick up now. Because uh, he's definitely going up. He'll be out of packs at the time. Once, he, once the two games are over, or even if Juventus win, let's say Juventus win and beat Atletico. Which they should Atletico dodgy this year. They're not they're not the same team they were last year with Griezmann going and I know they've got Jao Felix in and things like that and Trippier, but they're they're not the same team. They're really not. Um, they're dodgy this year. So I can see Juventus beating them. And Juventus home. Juventus are home as well. Yeah, Ju Juventus have got that. I reckon Juventus have got that easy. And then they've got Bayern here, right? So they, they are playing. Yeah, Leverkusen, Bayern Leverkusen. So, I mean, Juventus, 100% throw at the moment. I can see that card hitting 700. 90 rated, I can see that card hitting 700. I might pick one up uh, if I can get him a bit cheaper. I'll wait probably Sunday, see what goes on Sunday. And then, um, yeah, I'll pick him up. And then Handanovic with Inter again. This is a, I think this is a, yeah, this is a dodgy league. So, you need to... Who it in a got right? 
Oh, so their next game is against Salvia Prague, but they're not. Salvia Prague isn't the easiest team home. Um, watch that game, see what happens. See what happens with that game. And then you've got Inter, so that I put Inter on seven points with Dortmund if Dortmund lose against Barca. Dortmund lose against Barca, Dortmund have Barca, and then they have Salvia Prague, where Inter are going to have Salvia Prague and then Barcelona. So, I would look at it as if Dortmund can get a draw against Barcelona. I would probably go with Sancho in that one. Because if they can get a draw against Barcelona, they will definitely beat Salvia Prague. Not definitely, but the high majority they beat Salvia Prague. Where in a, if they lose, they get a win against Salvia Prague and they lose against Barca, it's a hard one. It really is. You need to... Would I... I mean, Barcelona have got two hard games. They've got Dortmund and they've got Inter. So I know there's a Dembele somewhere, right? He's not even guaranteed yet. Barcelona could go out. It's, again, it's unlikely, but you need to you need to look at the players that are guaranteed to go through, right? So Liverpool win one more game. Who have they got? Napoli, right? They've got Napoli in the Champions League. They're home against Napoli. Then get a draw. Uh, goal difference two three. Even Red, oh god! If Liverpool beat Napoli, they've got Napoli right, and then they have who will they have then? Then they have Red Bull away. Napoli have Thingy and then Genk. Liverpool need to beat Napoli, and then they're through. They're automatically through, and then Mane will be where is he? Yeah, up to a ninety. And that's a filthy card as it is. That's too expensive for my taste. I don't think that, I mean, that's just too expensive. I'd leave that alone. Um, with him not even guaranteed either. Again, with Son, like, let's, let's look at, like, guaranteed players that can go through, right? So you've got City not guaranteed. One more game, City are guaranteed. Bar Munich are guaranteed. Um, yeah. Bar Munich are guaranteed. So let's go and have a look at Komen. So if Komen goes under. He is, he's nearly under 300. If he goes 250, maybe less than that, that's a great investment. If he out of packs, he'll go to an 87. The hype will be there. He'll go up maybe, as soon as he goes up, he'll maybe go up the next, for the first 24 hours maybe. And then depending on who their game, their next game is. Um, so you've got, they're against Tottenham. And then they're against, right, they're against this team here. I'm not even can even pronounce that team, right? And then they've got Tottenham. So they're guaranteed through it. And then whoever they're playing after Tottenham indicates whether how much that card goes up. But that's a great one. Coman's a great one to invest in. Uh, let's have a look at Napoli. So Napoli are in the same league as Liverpool, right? So Napoli isn't the best one. Uh, we've looked at that in Chelsea. And then... Bayern Munich. There's no PSG players, which is weird, right? Real Madrid. Uh, Real Madrid need one more game. They need one more win. Even a draw. A draw would do. Yeah. Even a draw would do. And then Militao is going to an 86 straight off. I think this works like in form. So, yeah, he goes up. Um, he'll be up as well. He'll go to a 5. Jimenez will go to a 5. Gomez to a 5. Um, that Gomez SPC is too expensive. I can't. I won't be interested in that. Dumfries is good. Wendell's very good. Joan Jesus, wow. And then Mbab Mbabu. Wolfsburg are our team this year. Yeah, that's worth doing that, Mbabu. Um, it's free, in it? you just got to do the objectives. Shouldn't take you that long. I'd be looking at that. But the players that I would I would invest in are uh, Militao. I think he's he's awesome. He's a bit expensive, though, isn't he? Yeah, 4 4 2 and he's impacts. Um, whether that's because he's everyone knows he's going to an 86 or not, I don't know. But Real Madrid are, are doing okay in the Champions League, which I don't think they've lost, to be fair. Well, they have. They've lost one. And that's probably to, probably to PSG, right? Where did they... They drew against Atletico. No, they didn't. Sorry. They drew against Club... Oh, God. And then they won. 
So who did they lose? Oh, they lost 3 0 to PSG. Um, so I would look at Coman, Mares. City will do it. City are, um, City are insane, right? Uh, so Dabada, great one to Kante. I'd stay away from at the moment, wait until they play their next game and see, and then kind of see from there, judge that. Handanovic, I'd stay away from Mane, he's too expensive, I'd stay away from uh, Son, again, too expensive, stay away from, uh, and he's not even guaranteed yet. Sancho, how much is Sancho? 280k, maybe if he goes to 250, 240, pick him up, but bear in mind, if he, they don't go through, that card is dropping half his price. 150 to 180k that that card go to and then it'll just decline from there may go up some weeks may go down but Amarez is a great one Komen Dembele I can see Bayern Munich doing it um and Militao apart from that I can't really see it I can't I can't really tell you who I'd go for Wendell is nah I don't think they're gonna do that but that's who I would invest in that yeah that's definitely who I'd invest in um be careful though just watch it uh, Sunday is probably the best time to pick them up. Sunday, Monday. Uh, they're out of packs Friday and then the new team comes in. So whether, who's ever in that new team. But these are like the major players, right? I can't, they went all out for this. These are all OP players. Then Belly gets upgraded. I mean, it's filthy now. Same with Alan. Militao, joke, right? He's going to be a nightmare to play against. Sancho, okay, he's a good card. But as soon as he's 87, the shooting may be what? 79 80 pass and 81 it's very good son i mean wow yeah son of mane handanovic looks good but and the is great all round already it's a midfielder that's a striker you can play him anywhere literally anywhere you can play him left cam right cam and then kante kante is kante is probably one of the best players you know in all of these and especially if he goes like two more rounds but that's who I would look at, boys. That's who um who I would do. That's another good team of the week. So looking at players for this team of the week, um, Carl Walker. What's he down to? I mean, it's the wrong one. Let's have a look at Carl Walker. He's currently at what two fifty six by Sunday. He may be what two twenty, two thirty. Then pick him up by next weekend. He's back up because best right back in the Premier League. Premier League's most most um probably played league right and then you've also got Sancho now who's a right mid so he links up with him so that's an opportunity there with Carl Walker but uh that's gonna be it for the video anyway boys I hope you appreciate it give it a like subscribe if you're new I hope it helped and uh, I'll see you in the next one peace